expect on the big day. Now the, the 10 day comes out tomorrow. <laughs> we'll know. I mean, this time of year you get a lot of cloudy days. Yeah. Hopefully we're looking for a little sunshine on the, on the 8th. Yes, yeah, certainly fingers crossed. Dan, odds are not in our favor. And tomorrow evening you can turn on WTOL 11 for that updated forecast that will include a first look at the total solar eclipse. Now those moments of totality will be fleeting. Less than two minutes of totality in Toledo. Across the Buckeye State, though, some big cities like Cleveland are going to have almost four minutes of totality down towards Dayton closer to three minutes and near four minutes in Wapakoneta. Now, regardless of how much time that total eclipse lasts, it is still going to be the amazing full spectacle where the sun is fully obscured. Now, if you head to WTOL.com slash solar eclipse, we have information for every community, every suburb, every town and how long this spectacle will last on Monday, April 8th. Totality is generally going to start around 3 12 p.m. Give or take a few seconds, depending on where you live. Southeastern suburbs are going to see more of that totality. It'll last longer in Perrysburg, for instance, than it will in Toledo proper. Now, looking at the path of totality, we also have some scientific in-depth explainers on what exactly that is. Essentially, the track of that shadow or the umbra across Earth's surface, that is the path of totality that stretches all the way from Mexico up to Maine. There are 31 million Americans in this path and some big cities like Dallas are going to be seeing almost four minutes of totality. Some cities in Mexico closer to four and a half minutes. Again, WTOL.com slash solar eclipse and tomorrow evening, Dan, we'll have it in the 10 day forecast. John, thanks. You got one more chance to get all your eclipse questions answered. The last WTOL 11 eclipse Q&A will be this Monday at 1030. Our team of meteorologists will go live on YouTube and answer any burning questions you have about the eclipse. Again, that's Monday at 1030.